Okay, we're going to talk scales, chords, and intervals. Today we're going to talk it on a guitar because I know you people who are watching these are getting bored with piano. Those of you who are guitar players and are interested in learning about guitar music, and here I've been piano, 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 piano. Okay, so today we're going to guitar. But it's the same basic rules. A scale is still whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. That's a major scale, which is kind of boring, but it's, it's fundamental, and so I'm staying with it for a while. On a guitar, there are no white keys, there are no black keys, that's fairly obvious, Jeffy. Um, each fret is one half step. So, if you play a note, if you turn on the signal, if you play a note, and call that your root note, okay, and then you go up a half a step, You've played that note sharped, or the next note depending. But in a major scale, I'm using this slide today because this neck, the fretic distances on it are dead accurate, but the action's too high. So when I pinch the strings down, it goes sharp. And I don't want you guys to hear, you, you students to hear it wrong. So we're using this slide, you can see it. I'm gonna lay it right directly over frets and I'm hoping you can see well what I'm doing. If you were fingering that you'd be fingering behind the fret of course. Okay now major scale root note whole step to the second root is your first whole step is your second whole step is your third that's two whole steps, and a half step is your fourth. Now, a half step, or a whole step is your fifth, a whole step is your sixth, a whole step is your seventh, and a half step is your eighth. But, presto change, we have a bunch of strings here. We don't have to go up the neck that far to play a scale or an octave. That note, and this note, are exactly one octave apart. This guitar is tuned one, first note of the octave, five, one of the two notes in the middle of the octave, eight, top note in the octave, which is also one an octave higher. Eight and one are the same note, but there is an octave difference in them. And of course your twelfth string, or your twelfth fret, is your octave point, so tell they're pretty much the same note. Okay, so one, five, one. You remember what that means? One, two, three, four, five. Aha, uh -huh. so we can go one, two, three, four. Pick the next string. Five, up a whole step, six, up a whole step, seven, and another half step is eight, or the next one. That's a whole scale on a three string guitar. I have not mentioned a chromatic scale to you. A chromatic scale is another word for all the possible notes in a scale. There's eight notes in an octave counting the first and the last as each being notes even though they're duplicates of each other. There are 12 notes in a chromatic scale. If you did it on the piano that would be um, all the white keys and all the black keys. Here it is. Up the neck and across the neck. Now this is not a chord, we've talked about that. This is a what we call a power chord. It's a one five one interval. It's three notes, but there's no third in it. If you wanted to make that into a major scale, 
I mean a major chord, you'd have to add a third in it. Okay, well that's a one, that's a two, and that's a three. That's a major D major chord, all three notes. Now, we discussed yesterday, a minor chord is the same as a major chord, except the third is flatted or stepped down by half a step. So there's a D minor chord. Now, I've told you all in postings and conversations that yes, you can, if you need to, play minor chords on your cigar box guitar. All you got to do is add that flatted third. That's a minor chord, okay? You don't need it because with no major third or minor third, that will fit with a major chord or a minor chord. If the guy on the six string guitar, the 12 string guitar, the piano is playing a A minor, you can just play an A power chord and it works. It's not major and it's not minor. But if you really desperately want to play an A minor chord with him, you can... Can you see that? Okay. My slide is on my seventh fret. That's my A note fret. And my little finger is on the third fret above the slide. That makes a minor chord. And it explains to you why that weird guy always wears his slide on the wrong finger. But anyway, um, you don't need it. You got your you got your regular power chords, and you don't need majors or minors. There's the major scale in power chords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. That's that. I'm going to do a whole nother video on my four string, which has a third in it, and so it makes whole chords, and it's a whole different kettle of fish, that one extra string. The way I tune, there was a big uh, thread on the CBG uh, group recently about is a three string significantly different than a four string, and there were guys on the street with their 45s in their holsters strapped down to their leg and they were saying, all right, you go for your gun, no, you go for your gun, I'm sure they're going to shoot each other. I uh, dropped out of the thread because I could see I wasn't um, the kind of guy who did well in that environment, but...